Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to do small, fun, little reality check. So in recent self-defense show on YouTube, guys could get a wrench as an improvised weapon against a knife attacker. And this wrench was made of foam. And because of that, I could not stop myself thinking that the rear wrench do not behave like this at all. I don't have it the foam range like they use in the show, but I have a, this foam mace. So I'm going to compare these two just to see what actually could happen in the real life scenario. This is only for entertainment. I do not teach anyone how to fight. So don't swing tools around at your home. In the show, people were inside MMA cage and they have to defend themselves against the knife attacker. In the final round, they get a big foam range and several times defender hit with the wrench the attacker really clean but the attacker was still charging like nothing happened but with the rear wrench this swing would end fight right away metal wrench is not a tactical button it's basically a medieval maze with plumbing energy now i don't have it foam wrench like they use in the show but i have this foam larp mace and probably something similar what they used so this mace might look big and heavy but because it's made of foam it's not heavy at all you can swing this really fast probably with the real mace in the same size you cannot move like this and here we have a real wrench this thing is not easy to swing around because it's heavy and I know I'm not the biggest guy but because I work physically I am pretty strong and people actually joke that I am like a Popeye you know skinny guy with big forearms but even for me swinging this thing is not easy and in the show they swing and this like it's nothing you know even when they are on the ground they hitting like this this thing is not easy to move because it's heavy so I have a pretty good grip but I think that would be a big chance that if you hold it like this if you hit something you might drop it because it's heavy and powerful and when you're fighting with this wrench this wrench fighting with you now I will try to make the same combination with the mace and with the wrench and see the difference with the speed flow and everything fun, fun, fun. So now it's time for crash tests. I will use the mace only for one thing just to see the difference, but the rest of the stuff I'm going to crash with the real thing. You know, it's more fun. That's why in the show attacker could still keep fighting. But in the real life, if you would get hit with this thing, probably he would not like to fight you anymore or just could not fight you anymore. The foam wrench looks really cool in the show, but let's be honest, if this thing hits you for real, then this game over. There's no other way. 
to be fair to the show, when somebody landed a clean hit on the attacker, the round was counted as a win. The judge Mr. X assessed that the front wrench with full weight behind would have ended the fight before further injuries happened. The first shot to the jaw would have incapacitated the attacker. So this thing is a definition of overkill. If you miss, you lose. If you hit, they lose. This video is not about hating on the show at all. It just got me thinking and gave me perfect excuse to smash some stuff. And let's be honest, breaking things for science is always fun. I heard a funny suggestion, maybe next time in the show they should just use a stick. This is just normal PVC pipe with the formula top I made before. This could simulate a baton or just normal stick. This could be more realistic because it's fast and the attacker if they get hit they can still attack so would be more realistic than the wrench but i understand that wrench looks super cool but then you get these guys like me who overthink stuff and have to make a crash this video with the wrench okay this is it i have nothing more to say and i make this video mostly because i need a reason to smash some stuff <laughs> and yeah thank you for watching stay safe and don't swing around heavy tools unless you are a plumber.